In this video, I'm going to show you why one simple little adjustment can actually take your man coverage to an entirely new level, specifically against compressed sets in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player and as I learn new things about this game, I like to share with them, share them with you on my YouTube channel. Now if you want to subscribe, it's completely free to subscribe and also if you want to know whenever new videos come out, go ahead and turn on your notifications and that way YouTube will basically let you know whenever I release a new video. Now, real quick, before we dive too far into the tip, I do want to let you know that if you want to get uh, my free, full uh, offensive and defensive schemes that I release every single week in my text message membership, all you have to do to sign up for that is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. It is also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description. Now, if you have any questions, you can also text me because that is my personal uh, cell phone number. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk with you today uh, specifically about just one adjustment. I was labbing the other day and I found this and I thought, man, this is a really, really powerful adjustment specifically for formations like tight offset. It can also be very, very helpful for something like a bunch or you know any kind of really compressed set. I actually think it can expand too. It could be something you could use against spread concepts as well. But uh, it's it's really easy. You literally don't change any of your coaching adjustments. You don't need any of that. You just need to call the play two man under. So we're going to audible to it from three through five wide here. Um, and then all we're going to do, the adjustment's very simple. You're just going to put both of your inside uh, safeties that are in deep blues, put them on inside quarter zones. And the reason why is because they are basically going to do a much better job at matching on to these vertical routes that people are going to throw. As you see right there, matches on to it, and it gets an instant interception, Adrian Amos. They don't always match the vertical routes, but they do uh, a very, a very, um, you know, doable job they, they do a very good job against things like crossing routes things like post routes let me show you a post route real quick um from the play y out so again and all i'm doing is i'm just obviously you want to shade inside you want to shade underneath but i'm also go ahead and put both inside quarters out there and what that inside you're going to see like right here look at the match look at them just kind of work different routes um they like play psychic they rob different things they'll play out routes they'll play um uh, let me show you a play concept uh, i believe let me see if i have it in here let me grab it from the gun bunch but it, it's also really good against bunch really anything i i like it against pretty much anything whether it be spread if, or not um it is safer to run consistently you know against some kind of compression set that is very true but see if i can find the play here just something like a simple little um you know flood concept let me see if i can grab it from the trips tied in offset here um, we'll just use this simple play flood here, but if you watch how these work, I just think that these inside quarters do such an incredible job against a lot of what people like to do. So again, all I'm doing is I'm shading my coverage inside, uh, and then I'm putting two inside quarters on the field and just watch these quarter zones just rob. Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that quarter playing the flood. That's an inside quarter and it's playing the flood concept. It'll play crossing routes as well. Um, if I wanted, let me see if I have the, the PA crossers in here. I do. So I want you to show, show you this real quick. But this is something simple that honestly, it just kind of, I, I kind of just stumbled upon it. I was just testing out some things. I'm like, man, let me try an inside quarter out of this man coverage. And uh, you're going to see right here, it it's just going to do a really, really good job. Watch it just rob the court. Look at that. The crosser's completely dead. Um, they both just go right to the crossing route. So these are. Uh, this is a little bit of a tip here that can help you really create almost like a, a really unique cover one robber type of thing if you wanted to. Um, the cool part about it is it's also really good against things like skinny posts. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could do it, you know, like I said, you know, you're just putting two inside quarters out there. And then you're going to use her in the middle, obviously. But if you watch this PA cross play, just watch the quarters work. See how they're going to go underneath. 
and then they're going to be able to rob back over the top. They're just very glitchy. I would highly recommend at least having one inside quarter, if not two inside quarters um, on your defense. It's going to do a lot for you. Those quarter zones are probably the best deep blue zone in the game. So that's just a little quick tip there. If you want to get my full cover for match defense, um, that's available in the text membership. If you want to get my full uh, nickel 335 wide defensive scheme, it's actually just 15 bucks, and there's a link to that in the description. It shows you everything that you can do and need to know about the 335 wide as far as blitzes, as far as coverages, as far as run defense. And it actually shows you how to use the defense against a lot of the popular formations that you're going to be facing, um, whether it be in weekend league and the MCS or just in a regular online game. So if you want to get that ebook, that's available in the description. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 208 218-6900. Thanks for your time today, guys. And we will talk to you guys later tonight on stream at 10 p.m. Eastern time.